Welcome into 3 News at 4. I'm Laura Acacia with Isabel Lawrence. And we begin this evening with some breaking news for you. Jalen Jennings, a suspect in the Sunday morning mass shooting on West 6th Street, has now been charged. This just into our newsroom hours ago. As of right now, he's facing one count of attempted murder. And as we piece together what happened early Sunday morning that left nine people shot, we're also working to learn more about Jennings. I dug into court records and this is what I found. So Jennings has a long list of cases in Lorraine Municipal Court, the first dating back to May 2017 for a traffic violation. The most recent was from February. Jennings pleaded not guilty to unlawful restraint and domestic violence. He's also had a smattering of cases in Elyria Municipal Court and a case in Cleveland Municipal Court. Some of the more serious charges, though, come from the Lorraine County Common Pleas Court, where in 2019, 2020, and 2022, he was indicted on multiple counts pertaining to drug possession and trafficking both marijuana and cocaine. Now, yesterday, he was arrested in Lorraine in connection with the shooting that injured nine people on West 6th Street in downtown Cleveland early Sunday morning. The warrant, stating that he observed the victims inside a bar, got his gun from his car and opened fire. Now, it's important to emphasize once again, while Jennings has now been charged, he has not been convicted with any crimes in relation to the West 6th Street shootings. He will make an appearance tomorrow morning at Cleveland Municipal Court. And of course, we will continue to follow this story and bring you the updates as soon as we get them. Meanwhile, today, Mayor Justin Bibb and law enforcement officials held their first of several meetings to discuss recruiting and keeping current officers on the job. The mayor, along with the Fraternal Order of Police Captain Jim O'Malley and Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association President Detective Jeff Fulmer, will then host a public safety summit on August 23rd.